help me with this or not? Come on! How many more do I have to read? More than none! I've read more than none, okay? I've read at least... one... <laughs> word. Where the group assignment is to compare and contrast the themes of early 20th century authors. You can't compare and contrast one book. I'll speed read them. You can speed read? Yeah, of course. I do it all the time. It's easy. Okay, show me. Okay, I will. How much of that do you actually remember? About a word a page. Yeah, this one's getting pretty good so far. How does it go? Hair out, moment shoes, end. Piggy swim, many when tore, the end. Yeah, I'm on page 12. And this puppy dog's really coming together. We're so gonna fail this project. Yeah, you get used to it. Um, yeah, I prefer not to. There must be an easier way to get through all these books. Aren't they available on tape? Blair, they're not going to carry that in a high school library. They want us to experience books properly, on our own, from cover to cover. Hey, here we go. Barry White reads the dirty bits from D.H. Lawrence. I stand corrected. Oh, well, I'm done. Wait, what about our assignment? Okay, there's plenty of time to get that over with. All these authors will still be dead when we get back. <laughs> What's with you? We're getting our report cards back today. The semester's up already? Yeah, and if I didn't keep my A average, my dad's gonna kill me. For starters. Hey, you should tell them what I tell my parents. Grades have little bearing on actual knowledge. <laughs> you know, some of the brightest people in history didn't do so well in school. That's what you tell them about your grades? <laughs> no. See, actually, I'm kind of the reverse case. I do pretty good in school, but I don't retain anything I learn. <laughs> For example, I once got an A in spelling, right? But now I couldn't even tell you how to spell A. A? But it's, it's just a letter, A. See, you knew that. <laughs> you're a pretty smart guy, even if your grades are in the toilet these days. Hey, they're not in the toilet, all right? They're just not quite up to their usual standards of excellence, probably. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe I'm um, just, you know, um, they're fine. And I'm just, you know, getting worked up over nothing. Well, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm sure they're just okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have your report cards! <laughs> I do savor these moments of anticipation, don't you? <laughs> Morgan? Adequate. Uh, Tanya? Room for improvement. George, but we have yet to devise an appropriate grading system for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Roger. Just give it to me straight. I didn't get straight A's, did I? Uh, oh, that's okay, that's okay. Straight B's are fine. I can live with that. Your little midterm slump has led to a very average average, I'm afraid. I don't want to give away any surprises, but let me just say that I hope to see an improvement from you before the year is up. <laughs> oh, Blair, Blair, Blair. That's me, me, me. <laughs> I present this without comment. Right. Yeah, in gym. Yeah, it's still an A. And an F in everything else. I haven't seen this many Fs ever since Flunk Wilson flunked the 10th grade for the 10th time. <laughs> oh, right. Blair repeating his year is the least of your worries right now. 
I seem to remember an agreement way back when. Back when this early morning after school between classes radio club first began. Do any of you old timers remember this? <laughs> well, let me remind you then. This agreement stipulated that for Radioactive to continue, its members must maintain at least a C average. <laughs> well, guess which one of you just took a dive off the tip of the bell curve? You can't shut us down just because one of us is failing? Oh, I didn't make up the rules. Oh, wait. Yes, I did. <laughs> All the more reason to stick with them then. <gasps> I'll give you till the end of the week to sign off and shut the station down. <laughs> uh, permanently. <laughs> Guys, I'll fix it. I swear. Okay, I'll, I'll come up with something. Out with it. Out with what? Your plan. What plan? Your plan to save the radio station. I'm sure you and your little friends have hatched some transparent deception to manipulate me into offering a reprieve. Well, let's hear it. I could use a laugh. No, it was just me alone. And I don't really have a plan. I'm kind of drawing a blank, to be honest. No, 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 you are going to have to do so much better than that. We can make a deal. You have nothing I want. Miss Atoll, I never asked you for anything. Today. But this is too important. Not to me, it isn't. Look, all the classes I failed have makeup tests scheduled for anyone who was away or sick or just wasn't there for the exams. So? So I want to take them, all of them, and I'll pass this time, I swear, with flying colors. And that way I'll bring my overall average up to a C, and radioactive can stay on the air. Blair, you were here for the exams the first time around. True. But before the exams, I had a hockey game against West End, a football game against Clearpoint, baseball game against Hilldale, and a basketball game against Riverview. I was so busy winning games for Upper Redwood that I had never had a chance to look at any books. And that's why I think you should give me a second chance to rewrite those exams. Well, I'll admit that your sports career certainly does seem to cut into your study time. Exactly. Fine, then. I'll let you take those makeup tests next week. I'll talk to Coach Wilson about having you dropped from all those teams. Oh, right, Mr. Tom! What? Well, that's your choice, Blair. Sports or radioactive. You keep your marks up and we'll talk about getting you back onto the field or the ice or the court or whatever it is. In the meantime, I suggest that you concentrate on those exams or you'll be losing radioactive as well. You see, you cut along this dotted line, right? You pop up the top of Blair's skull, scoop out the brain, and replace it with a superior model that'll do better at the makeup test. <laughs> Let's say Rogers. Whoa, keep your paws away from my brain. Yeah, George, we need a brain that could score better marks than a C. <laughs> well, Blair has to score B pluses or A's if he's gonna get the kind of average that we need to keep this station running. It can't be done. We have to try. Yeah, well, what can we do? The only thing that we can do. We're nearly a decade of formal education has failed. We are gonna succeed. You guys, we are gonna make Blair Resnicki learn. Impossible. Yeah, even I have to agree with him there. No, not impossible, just nearly impossible. Look, you guys, we'll each take the subjects that we're best at and teach them to Blair in a language that he can understand. But I'm not too good with languages, either. Well, then we'll start with the basics. English. Okay. <gasps> oh, yet here is a spot. Oh, damn that spot! Oh, I say! 
So Lady Macbeth has a dog named Spot, and she wants to let him out of the house. No, she's talking about the blood on her hands. Oh, well, she can just get it off with some good soap. That's not the problem. The blood washes off. It's the guilt she can't wash away. Oh, like that time when I got a free throw when I faked the foul. Even in the locker room after I showered, I still felt kind of dirty. <laughs> okay, uh, that's exactly what I meant. I get it now. <laughs> okay. World War II. Think of the name. What does that tell you? There was a war. Yes. In the world. And? It was a sequel? Because of the two at the end. Very, very, very good. Yeah. So now that means that there has to have been a... World War One. Yes, there you go. Now, you see, everything in history is sort of a sequel to what happened before. Because just like bad Hollywood movies... History repeats itself. Ah! I get it now. Five times two. Ten times two. <laughs> Twenty times two. <laughs> 40 times 2. <laughs> 80. And then 160, 320, 640. Yeah, I get it now. <laughs> Velocity. <laughs> Inertia. <laughs> Centrifugal force. Gravity? Exactly. I get it now. And so it went. Hour after hour, day after day, week after week, month after month. Actually, mo it was just a few days. <laughs> Until we finally succeeded in turning this dumb jock. <laughs> Into the new, improved Blair Resnicki 2001. <laughs> At Harvard, here we come. I fancy myself more an Oxford man. I haven't thought twice about sports since this whole new world of learning opened up for me. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, didn't I tell you? I let a tall cut me from all my sports teams just so I could pass these tests and save radioactive. Huh. Wow, Blair, I had no idea. I mean, I know how much they meant to you. Well, truth is, I don't miss them one bit. From now on, I'm going to carry a good book with me instead of a pigskin. I'm going to sharpen my mind instead of my skates, and I'm going to adjust my reading lamp instead of my jock strap. <laughs> well, that's just swell, Blair, because we could all do with a little less of the adjusting. No time to talk, my good Roger. There's knowledge to be had. If anyone's looking for me, I'll be in the library. Looks like Blair. Sounds like Blair. <laughs> that's, that's not, not Blair. Blair. <laughs> We've created a monster. <laughs> Wow, he's been here all day. Usually, if Blair gets stuck in the library for more than five minutes, he sinks into a clinical depression that can only be broken by watching a weekend full of pro wrestling reruns. <laughs> I'm gonna go and suggest some fresh air and sunshine and see how that goes over. Yeah. Hey, Blair, how's it going? <laughs> Wonderful. My brain feels so sharp, so focused. It's amazing what a week of not being hit in the head by pucks, hockey sticks, or baseballs will do for you. Uh, maybe our tutoring helped a bit, too? <laughs> With the absence of sports in my life, I feel my brain swelling, but not in that bad, blunt trauma kind of way. <laughs> so, Blair, what's all this? It's my new hobby. I'm calculating pi. I'm 3,756 decimal points in, and it's just getting more and more interesting. You never know what the next number could be. Maybe a four, maybe a five, a six, a seven, an eight, mm. a nine. Who knows? <laughs> Blair, why don't you take a little break, huh? You know, shoot some hoops, uh, lift yeah. some weights, go for a run. 
I have no time for those trivial distractions right now, Morgan. There are so many facts to learn. Like, did you know that cats have 32 muscles in each ear? Or, or that pumice is the only rock that floats? Or that the Hundred Years' War lasted 116 years. <laughs> Look, Blair, that's all really nice, but, um... No, it's actually not, <laughs> okay? It's boring. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that then. Blair, who cares? <laughs> I do. Right now, I know just enough to know how much I don't know. <laughs> but it's all right here in these books, and I can learn it all. <laughs> Okay, Blair, all work and no play makes Blair a dull boy. <laughs> yeah, a dull, boring, obnoxious, know-it-all boy. <laughs> My poor, failing Roger. Ooh, who's failing, all right? C is not failing. C is a very respectable mark. You know, Roger, I could find some time in my busy schedule to help you with some subjects that your mind can't quite wrap around. No, no, okay, 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 Blair, maybe not. We'll just let you finish your studying, okay? Roger, come on. Just, let's go, come on. Come on, go. Hey, Blair, go for a three-pointer. I beg your pardon? Put the ball through the hoop. Come on, you can do that. Whatever for. Because it's fun. <laughs> really, Tanya, your idea of fun escapes me. Go play with your toys somewhere else. Roger, shouldn't you be studying? You know, you'll never get your marks up by lollygagging here all day. <laughs> no! Roger, no time to play pugilist. I have work to do, and so do you. Four! Morgan, watch where you fling your rubber discus. Rubber discus? Blair, this is a puck, remember? Puck. Hockey? Hardly. Come on, Blair, you used to love this stuff. Don't be such a drip. Huh? Hey, Blair, think fast. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Morgan? Tanya! George! Melvin! <laughs> Roger. Oh, I'm back. I'm me again. I remember this. I must have been dreaming. No, it really happened. Yeah, you got smart. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. uh. <laughs> oh, okay then. Hey, uh, Blair, are you really back to normal? Yeah, ask me anything. All right, um, when was the Battle of Hastings? I don't know. <laughs> what was the year of the Confederation? <gasps> no clue. <laughs> Who wrote a lesson then? I haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> you guys, that shot to the head must have knocked something loose. Yeah, my head is so clear, it feels like a clean slate. No facts, no figures, no knowledge of any kind cluttering the place up. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> Blair's back! All right, man. Blair! Makeup exams begin in five minutes. <laughs> begin. Yeah, I have problems with this first question. Oh. Name. <laughs> Mr. Tall, we never covered that in class. Your name. Blair. Right. Uh, sorry. I'm a little nervous right now. <laughs> You know, I'm glad to have the old Blair back, but you think you could have re-scrambled his blade after the exams? No, no, no. Everything that he learned is still locked up in there somewhere. He just needs to concentrate, look deep inside himself, and find the answers. Ah! Or he could just smack himself in the forehead and reprogram his brain into working order. <laughs> C, D, A. True, true, D, 3,426. 3X, true. A, B, true. 
The Magna Carta. E equals MC squared. Treaty of Versailles. Louise Saint Laurent. Penumbra. 180. <laughs> <laughs> the monster is back! It's Blair the Brave! Oh, Blair, calm so, down. Great Relax. Wall of China. Thomas Edison. Think stupid seven, thoughts. Three. The Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh. Phew! Oh, that's better! I don't quite know how, but all of these answers appear to be correct. Well, that's easy. My friends help me. I see. Well, you still have that group assignment for English. How's that coming along? Fine. Great. Uh -oh. Yeah, that guy who writes all that bull. Um, fighting. He writes about the bull fighting. <laughs> Hemingway. Yeah, him. Don't think that you've pulled the wool over my eyes, Blair Resnicki. I know there was some trick to this. I just haven't quite figured out what it was yet. There's nothing to figure out, Ms. Adal, all right? Nothing yeah, at no, all. Really? Well, perhaps I don't even want to know. Ignorance is bliss, after all. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm always so happy. <laughs> oh! There. What? Blair's getting back his revised report card. So long as he doesn't do better than me. I don't think I can handle it. <sighs> oh, Blair! So the verdict? <laughs> Plus! <laughs> so, Blair, have you thought about joining the Upper Redwood teams again? Atal says she'll think about it, provided I don't let my marks go down the tubes again. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Blair. No, it's okay. I could use a break from full contact sports. Now that my brain is back in perfect working alignment, I don't want to do anything to upset it. <laughs> well, you know, Blair. <laughs> There's still some non-head bashing games you could play, like Diddlywings. <laughs> that seems safe enough. Yep. Just a minute. <laughs> Can't ever be too safe. <laughs> See, cut along this dotted line here, right? All the way around, pop up the top of Blair's skull, scoop out the blip, blip. Uh, Okay. You see, cut along this dotted line, right? Right along his head. You pop up the top of his brain. <laughs> <laughs> So you see, cut along this dotted line here, right? All the way around his skull. And then you pop up the top of his brain with his... 